everyone. This is me, Cheney Entertaining, here to entertain you once again. I gotta come up with a better intro because I just come here and I wing it. You know, everyone has their little catchphrases. I, I, I just say random things when I come out and I never know what the hell I'm gonna say. They all have like this. I just come out with like Homer Simpson. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? <laughs> Let's not and say we did. All right, what am I doing today? Well, I'm talking about The Last Jedi, of course. So I read this article. I'm doing the more another article thingy since the last one did so good. I'm doing another article thingy. Um, this one is by slashfilms.com. Um, yeah, I found this one interesting as it pertains to Grand Master Snow. And his possible return to The Last Jedi, or to Star Wars, Episode 9. Now I know a lot of you people are going to say, Shaney, give it up, man! There's no save in this franchise, so who cares? And you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But, you know, we can hope, right? I mean, we still want some good time Star Wars movies, don't we? I know a lot of people are like, let it die, man! Let it die! And I, and I can't blame you. I want to be there with you, but there's a part of me that just wants to see this right. I want to see this done properly. Jesus, there's people fighting in the halls over there. Some controversy. I had to put this video on pause because outside in the hall there were people yelling and screaming and got into a fight. So I had to roll up my sleeves and get all Jedi on them. <laughs> no, I just, I just eavesdropped like a good Samaritan. <laughs> So what was I saying? Yes, there's this article from Slasher Film. The title of this article is Andy Serkis teases Snoke's possible return in Star Wars 9. This is Andy Serkis teasing. And as you know, people from the circus like to tease. And uh, I shouldn't pick on his name. Bad form, Shane. Bad form. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's low class. You don't pick on people's names, Shaney. Huh? What the hell's wrong with you? But I just couldn't help. Sir, I always found Circus is a weird name. Can you imagine? I don't even. Is that his? Is that his real name or is that like a stage name? I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. It's <laughs> anti. I mean, just just thinking about uh, Circus Family Table One. <laughs> just like what were people expecting in the other tables? Circus Family and Table One. Do, 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 do. Hello. Um. Hi. Can you tell that Circus Family to keep it down? It's too loud in the restaurant. I just came to eat dinner. And they're doing trapeze and and they're juggling and juggling all sorts of things and fire and whatnot. Well, he does use an apparatus every time he's doing a movie, right? So it's not far removed. All right, not enough of that tomfoolery. Can I talk about the word tomfoolery for just a half a second? How much of a fool must this Tom have been? I mean, there's been a lot of fools in this world, right? I mean, this world is no shortage of fools. For them to talk about tomfoolery, this Tom must have been one hell of a fool because he coined the phrase tomfoolery after him. So this guy must have been one foolish guy. We're gonna coin this Shane Foolery. <laughs> All right, enough of this. Get to the article here, man. Go too crazy, Shane. Just calm down. Get your shit together, buddy. All right, serenity now. Okay, so <clears throat> should I read this in a Star Warsy way? Someone told me the last time I did it that I should do in Jab. I should have done a Jab of the Hut. Maybe I should read this in Jab of the Hut and let you guys decipher it. Okay, so this article, uh, doo -doo -doo. it's by Ben Ben Pearson. Ben, Ben like Ben Solo, huh? All right, and I shall read this in uh, Jab of the Hut's voice. <laughs> Andy Circus isn't fully convinced. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We've seen the last of Supreme Leader Snow ho, 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 in the Star Wars films. Ho, ho, ho. Right, I'm gonna stop doing it. It's annoying to me, and I'm doing it. <laughs> I can hear everyone yelling in. Since Andy Serkis is the one saying it, I should do it in Schmeagle's voice. <laughs> I spoke with the actor yesterday this about his work in Marvel Studios Black Panthers. Is... No. I'll just do it normal. How about that, guys? <laughs> Will that, that make you feel better? In which he reprises his role as the villainous Ulysses, Claw, and I, could res I couldn't resist asking him a quick question about the recent events in the galaxy far, far away. I know that galaxy. Yeah, that Star Wars galaxy. Specifically, how he reacted when he first read about Snoke's ultimate fate 
in Star Wars The Last Jedi. But his answer implied that perhaps the memorable scene wasn't quite as final as it appeared. Well, that's my, uh, my journalistic tone. You know, it's as final as it appeared. Gotta do the influxes of you. I'm going to talk like this, up and then down. <laughs> I find that annoying. I like the way I read so much better. Major spoilers occur below, of course. That's what Ben says. Ben Kenobi. My full conversation with Circus from the Black Panther junket will hit the site soon. But there was some, there was one particular intriguing section that I thought was worth sharing before the rest. Here's what happened when I raised the Star Wars topic and asked about his reaction to Snoke's demise. He says, Look! <laughs> it's Andy Circus talking now. <laughs> so you know Schmeagel's coming. Look! It's Star Warses! So you never know how lifes or whether life can come back to or not says. Whether you can be resurrectities. <laughs> Rectities? Oh, brat boxes! <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because that hurts my throat. Mmm! I was shocked I was! <laughs> no, no. Alright, guys, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get through this. Relax. Dramatically, it felt absolutely right for the moment. Why do people keep saying that? Why? <laughs> Can't you see the forest from the trees? Dramatically, it felt right. It felt right for the moment. It felt right. Say it ain't so, Andy. Say it ain't so! I mean,. He got struck by a lightsaber that was right behind him as he was mouthing off about being great. I mean, I mean, first we didn't see it coming. I mean, what else was there supposed to happen? I mean, you know, Kylo Ren was m m like manipulating that lightsaber, so we knew it was coming. But it, 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 to say to say that you know it felt right to kill the main villain in the second act of the movie, it just it just felt right. And I say second act because it's the second movie in the trilogy. Therefore, second act and. He kills the major villain in the second act, and it, it just felt right. He's been hanging around the circus far too long. Alright, um... It felt absolutely right for the moment in the film, so I didn't question it. I just think it's a very, very important scene, so I didn't question it. But I do. <laughs> I didn't question it, but I do, he says. So he didn't want to question it, but he questions it. But he thinks it's right for the scene. See, that's what people who want to apologize for, who are held by Mickey Mouse on the choke, Choke collar. Uh, I think what Mickey Mouse must have done to a lot of these people is they put that bomb, you know, like in Suicide Squad inside their, you know, so that he could blow up their heads if they say anything against the movie. Right, apparently Mark Hamill didn't get one. <laughs> they did, they put one in after, I think. They forgot. Oh, ha ha! Who's the asshole that missed uh, Mark Hamill? He's our mouth and off! Hook on! Put one in him! Pronto! I said pronto, not Pluto! So I didn't question it, but I do. I knew it's left if. <laughs> Let's hear that in instant replay. <laughs> That's a little Ace Ventura for you, friends. <laughs> Remember that scene? <laughs> I just think it's a very, very important scene. So I didn't question it, but I do. I know it's left fans like that they were really searching for something there. That's a weird sentence. And what I'm saying is who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's coming back. I followed up and asked if he'd spoken with J.J. Abrams, who introduced Snoke in The Force Awakens and will be returning to complete the trilogy by co-writing and directing Star Wars Episode Nine. but Circus said he hadn't spoken with him yet. Seems like a bit of a reach, my friend. I don't know about all that. I mean, it makes sense to bring him back. Shouldn't have killed him in the first place. But J.J. Uh, Abrams was like, well, what I do all this writing for? Why, why does he sound like, I don't know, like, Hi, this is J.J. Abrams. I don't know why he talks like this, eh? I ain't from Brooklyn, huh? All right, uh, now the question becomes, should Snow come back? Personally, I think it would undercut one of The Last Jedi's best scenes. <laughs> <laughs> My freaking ears! My freaking ears! <laughs> one of The Last Jedi's best scenes. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with these people? It's best scene. <laughs> if Abrams brought him back, but I'm sure there's are, there are people out there who would argue that a case could be made for his return. 
I think it's far more likely that if Snoke managed to survive that encounter, fans would, would see more of the Supreme Leader in novels, video games, or other additional materials outside of the movies because The Last Jedi makes it clear that Kylo Ren's arc is reliant on him graduating to the role of Big Bad in the next film. I do not see that. Um, nothing about him, his arc except for him being officially evil, but I thought we got that arc done with in The Force Awakens when he killed his poppy. When he killed his pappy. Pappy Han. Hmm? I thought that was his whole arc. I mean, how many, how many times has he got to kill people before people realize he's evil? I mean, I think there's now like a three killing minimum before we can really say he's evil. I mean, he killed his father in the first one. That's not evil enough. He's, he still has some good in him. You can still salvage him, right? Uh, <laughs> he killed Snoke. That's final. He kills the bad guy. He's completely... You've made your, your final ascension into greatness. Um, you can't defeat Rey. So, if you can't defeat Rey, you're nothing but crap. Uh, and everyone's like, well, but, but, but... No, no, no. He hasn't defeated Rey in two movies. Two movies he hasn't defeated Rey. You, do you think he's gonna defeat Rey in the last movie? I guess that would subvert all our expectations if Kylo Ren's story ends with killing Rey. I still think they're gonna go with the stupid, uh, Reylo thing. They're gonna put them together, which I... Please don't do that. If you do that, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm probably done anyway, but that, that'll just solidify it, man. But I want to toss it to you. Can you think of a satisfying way for Snoke to come back in Star Wars Episode Nine? Is that something you want to see? Um, and that's a question I'm gonna ask all of you people there in YouTube land. Would you like to see Snoke come back? I no longer just have a massive head wound, I've got a stomach wound as well. Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, look, Snoke is a powerful dude. You could, uh, theoretically, you could theoretically make it so that it actually would kind of be kind of cool and probably better. Hear me out now, guys. Hear me out. I know everyone's yelling, I can't make this movie better. Shut your mouth. Shut your bloody mouth there. All you Scottish people out there. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's, like, just hear me out for a minute. We know that he's got the capability of really high mental capability, right? He managed to play he managed to play the dating game with two people, right? In two different parts of the galaxy. So he's obviously strong mentally, right? And his whole speech about him like, I know everything, he's taunting Kylo Ren and told him his mask looked stupid and all that stuff. Maybe that was all there just to push Kylo Ren to be the big bad, right? So he was like whole wanting him to, to, to reach his potential and he realized that he was still pussyfooting around and, and so he wanted him to, maybe he was wanting him to strike him down. That was the whole thing, strike me down. And so maybe he wasn't doing that. Maybe the it was all an illusion. Maybe all you saw was not him, but like a force, maybe he made a clone of himself or something. And maybe it was like a clone that he was manipulating with his own mind, you know, from a distance. And you thought that that was really um, Snoke when he was just there to test Kylo the whole time. And then when he got struck in the lightsaber, like, Bleh. you know, maybe that was just there to sort of, you know, test him and make him reach his potential. Again, that potential of, of Kylo. And then you could do it like that. And he was actually the whole time still puppeteering things from another, uh, from another place. I mean, they're, they've established clones in the universe and... So since then we know that clones are possible, maybe Snoke had a clone of himself. Maybe uh, what he did was he just put the clone in the throne room and was manipulating him with, the, with his Jedi mind tricks, uh, like a puppet, and you would just kill the puppet and he was really alive. That would make sense. And actually I think it would be cool because you have him even show how much more powerful Snoke really is and, and that he was uh, uh, taunting uh, Kylo the whole time so that he would, you know, strike him down and, and reach his potential. Then you could bring him back and it wouldn't be so bad. And then maybe we can make uh, 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 the same thing for Luke Skywalker. He, he's a clone. And, and drinking titty milk wasn't really Luke. And Luke, Luke was really, you know, on Dagobah the whole time. You know, living in that tiny little hut. Mm. <laughs> he was just in the tiny little hut the whole time. In Yoda's bed. With his feet like Elf. <laughs> on, top of the, on top of the bed. The whole time with the covers all snugly. He didn't even know anything was happening. That wouldn't be any. I don't know. I, I think I think um, I think it could be done. You could you could you could resurrect this. Uh, I believe it would be dumber than what we've already seen. So I think you you could regular resurrect that old bag of bones. <clears throat> that old uh, head wound, massive head wound, Harry. Uh, now he's got a massive <laughs> massive stomach wound as well to go with his head. Um, anyway, 
Uh, tell me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you want to see Snoke back? Do you want to see Snoke at all? Do you want to see The Last Jedi? Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Do you want to see The Last Jedi, uh, you know, anymore? Are you done with the movie completely and you don't care what they do? They could just make everyone drink titty milk, you know, the next, uh, next movie and you could care less. Anyway, guys, uh, so let me know what you think in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe because subscribing makes you cool. <laughs> anyway, guys, catch you later.